Hi everyone, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a, another talk group to your DVMega plug and play package code plug. So if you've installed the, the CPS, the programming software, to, to your computer, uh, go ahead and click the, the COM port button here, plug in your radio and turn it on, and then you'll see it show up in the COM port, click OK. Then we're going to read from the radio. Now this will pull in your current code plug. Uh, now you don't have to import the whole contact list if you've already done that before. So here we go. We've read the radio. Now let's say I want to add, for example, we're going to add for this video TAC 314. Uh, so what I'm going to do is double click on this next channel here. And we want to program up the frequencies to the same exact frequencies that are on the rest of the, the plug and play package code plug. They're going to be the, the same thing because that's what it talks to the, the DV Mega on. Then let's say, so I want to give it the name Mega Tac 314 in this case. Then we're going to go find this in the, uh, I believe this is called Contact. Now you can add in any other talk group you want to. Um, if you want to add in a different state, you, you can do that right here. Okay, here we go. So here's the tax, tax 314. We're going to add that one in here. Now we want to take the transmit power down to low because this is a uh, just transmitting to the hotspot, so we don't need to transmit at high power. And say OK. Now, if we go ahead and write this to the radio just like this, we're going to run into an issue, and I'll show you what that issue is right here. Uh, it won't actually show up. So over here on the radio, it's just rebooting right now. We can go all the way through the channels on here, TAC 311, 312, and we're going to go right past everything, and we're not going to find that new channel that we added, the new talk group. Now the reason for that, we'll jump back in the computer here, is under zone we haven't added it to our zone so on your code plug if it's a plug and play package this will probably be labeled like dv mega zone or something similar to that so we want to double click on that open it up and you'll see all of your zone channels now this one we've added to the channel list is not yet in the zone so just click the arrow select the channel you want click the arrow add it across to your zone and then click ok now when we go back over here and write to the radio, just like that, we're going to actually see it in our list of channels. So here we go. If we go ahead and scroll through, there's TAC314, and uh, there we go. So it worked. Uh, so it's really that simple, real easy process if you want to make more zones. And, and add uh, local, local repeaters, anything like that. Very similar process. Uh, just remember to add them to your zone. And then uh, if you want to change your zones, you can use the up and down arrows to go through different zones if you have more than one. Uh, but that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, if you know anyone else who's uh, struggling with any issues like this or, uh, or you think might find value in this, share it with them. Uh, like us on our Facebook. Follow us on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell. Uh, we're always posting more helpful content for you guys, and we don't want you guys to miss out. Uh, so that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed 7-3.